This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so Ray J, okay, uh, he lights up Kim Kardashian. Uh, he's pissed, and I would be pissed too, like, because she's just slandering his name for content, right? So he says, uh, when I put on the comments that all this was a lie, I didn't mean Kanye was coming to meet me with some second, second tape. I mean, all this is a lie from the beginning. Us putting this tape out. This has been the biggest lie in the industry of history of entertainment. They're not letting the world know there's a bunch of tapes that we made, but they're not going to they're not going anywhere because she has them all already. OK, he says, I felt uh, almost I felt like taking myself out because when you know something's real, it's no, he did not feel like taking himself out. We know something's real and it's true, and you're watching a whole family create the empire from a lie they've created. It's heartbreaking and disrespectful to all the entertainers who have been honest and true to their craft. Um, so he goes off, you know, why you're playing games, Kim? We had this agreement. Now you're trying to drag my name. You know, I, pl I played ball. We planned this all together. You're taking this lie to the next level. Uh, he said you wanted the footage, and I gave him all the videos and pics and texts from me and you because I was trying to make things okay. So basically, Kanye had a laptop full of nothing, right? She has all the tapes. All the videos and pics and texts from me and you because he was trying to make things okay, blah, 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 where it shows all that we did. All of the meetings, the combos, the plan, the date, the times, our meetings. The whole thing's a lie. Chris and you planned this since the beginning. You know what we did? Your mom controlled the whole tape, the deal, the money, everything. That's crazy. Who shared these private DMs is what I want to know. Without your control, you take all the fake tears, the fans trusting you, blah, blah, blah. Um, your own, your lies. Somebody needs to explain and play what you're doing to be ASAP or I'll have no choice but to protect my brand. He talks about his team. Me sticking uh, D-I-L-D-O in you while you were asleep is pretty out of control. Wouldn't you wake up uh, if that was in you? I hope, I hope so, Kimmy. It never was that loose. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, it makes me like look like someone that's taking advantage of you. Pretty dirty. Yeah, I would be mad too. Please help me stay in a positive light. I have kids, you know, like and stuff like that. So she says, sorry, just seeing the DM. Congrats on your beautiful family. I didn't say a single thing bad about you. Um, I did. I wasn't laughing during the whole DILDO story. Uh, five year. My my son was five years old at the time. Had to learn about all this from your manager. There's a second tape. Well, yeah, because there is no second tape. You have the tapes, and he was trying. That they're they're going to get something out of it. So they got a relationship with Kanye West out of it. I guess it benefited the game, really. Right, that's the funny thing. This benefited the game. He got a whole video out of this and song. Ray J didn't get anything. Um, my burn them to the comment was a generalization of people trying to bring up this twenty-year-old tape that you and I did and how it affected me. You, you didn't deal with it. It doesn't make any sense. This whole thing. I completely understand. Uh, oh, now he says, my team wants me to respond. I love it when they say their team. These are just them responding. They're just trying to sound sophisticated. Because uh, she bosses up and says, my team says, they, you know, like, it's shut up. Uh, she says, thank you for reaching out to me. I'll make a good statement next week and make sure everything's good. This is the statement, though. All Ray J wanted was her to respond. And this is probably all planned, too, to have a response to this. Because he probably raised issues and they're like all right we'll dm her and then she'll dm you back and that'll be the response share the private dms because look how organized this is it's like paragraphs it's a book she's like kanye ba 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 after next week everyone sees the computer giving back everything will be done we'll be done with this i'm sorry to hear how this has affected you blah 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 anyways that was all planned that was the response okay 50 Cent reacts to Dave Chappelle, the guy tackling him on stage. Now, Jamie Foxx stopped this guy from pulling out a fake weapon with a, a knife attached to it. And then uh, this guy tackled 
Dave Chappelle. Uh, Chris Rock made a joke saying, was that Will Smith? But I'm glad Dave Chappelle's okay. Dave Chappelle's a great person. So 50 Cent said, look at this fool's head. I bet it's the last time he's going to try to run on stage. Wonder what LGBTQ community is going to say about this. This is not a good look. Michael Blackson said, I thought I was going to have to deliver the baby last night backstage at the Hollywood Bowl. All this happened 30 minutes before some rapper with 3,000 mixtapes and no album attacked my guy, Dave. <laughs> the cloud chaser ended up with a new eye and two left arms. Today's security is not today's security. <laughs> Yesterday's security is not today's security. That's good. Uh, anyways. Let's cut this here. We'll, we'll, we'll do all the stories on the next one. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me.